Hello everyone, uh, this is an update video to generic IK. In this update we reintroduce the leg vertical placement, which is basically the ability for the legs to adjust to different surfaces and different terrains. Right? Now, before we discuss the system, let's um, display what the system can do and, and uh, what we have to demo it. Uh, and let's start off with a very typical cube test. So if I start the game and and uh, and move the cube, the character adjusts its legs. We can also test. Uh, we can also test how the character would um, adjust its legs while it's moving. For example, the character is, is, ru is running on a slope. I have a debug mode here which allows me to animate the, the player. And I can put the four amount to one. And as you can see, the system works correctly. Right. Uh, without out of the way, now let's discuss uh, how the system works and how you can set up the system for yourself. Now, the system for now works for humanoid characters. And all you need to attach is this script right here called Humanoid Vertical Leg Placement. It's located uh, in the core uh, folder right next to the inverse kinematic script. So I'm going to remove it and uh, reattach it again. So when you attach it to a humanoid character, you don't need to specify and, and assign uh, these values over here. It's automatically going to be selected for you except for two things the leg type uh, in this case i know the right leg is um, i mean this chain it should be the right leg and that chain should be the left leg and uh, i'm gonna check a layer for uh, doing the ray casting i'm gonna select the default um, now all the references here will be automatically built for you so you don't need to assign anything uh, manually. Now, if you want to, you don't have to actually select what type of leg that is. You can also manually go through the joints and select them one by one. Uh, but this option right here uh, basically makes it a little bit easier and less time consuming for for you to set up more, um, I mean, to set up uh, <coughs> a leg placement script, right? So all I have done right now is just uh, selecting a layer mask to do the ray casting against and I just specified which type of leg is which chain and if I start the game again as you can see it's working so just a couple of seconds and you can have a, a vertical leg placement system working on your character now real quick we can go through this uh, the um, the uh, options here. Now the uh, vertical leg placement uses the animator uses the avatar of the animator uh, to discover the joints, right? So if you don't assign the source animator, the system will assume that the animator is on the same game object as the script itself. In this case, right here, it's true. But if you want to, you can override this by applying a different animator by simply dragging and dropping it. So basically, it's going to check. If it's null, then it assumes that it's already on the same object. If it's not null, then um, uh, then it's just going to use what, what it has. The same thing with the root. Um, now, the root by default is the hips, uh, the hips bone. But uh, I, I decided to expose the field because this could be useful if you have different character configuration. 
because some users like to have um, different uh, configurations for the ragdoll and different configuration for the character itself so in the case of ragdoll and the case of the character itself the route will be different of course so this is a nice option to have to specify which route uh, that, that you want to use the layer mask is basically which mask that we i mean which layer should we um, check against when we do ray casting to discover the, the terrain uh, if you notice my character here is on the layer ignore ray cast so i don't want my i don't want my rays to uh, accidentally intersect with my character's collider now the legs uh, they are sim they are very simple um, uh, chains with some extra options uh, you can use this option over here leg type to specify which leg it is and this is only useful I mean this is only I mean you can do this only if you wanna um, if you want the system to build the chains for you and you don't want to don't want to assign the joints one by one by yourself um, and here you have some options about terrain adjustment here, here we have a, an option called foot offset which is basically if you want to apply some offset to the foot uh, it's zero by default max step height is basically how uh, how long uh, I mean the distance of the ray or the length of the ray that we will uh, shoot so 0 0.8 is gonna shoot a ray that's 0 0.8 um, um, units downward and it's also used to do some calculations about um, the uh, the actual um, hit point right is out position and is out normals are basically values that uh, smooth out the movement uh, when the uh, when, we, when we can't find the hit point anymore so if the player is in the air for example or suddenly jumps uh, we can't find the hit point anymore because we are in the air so in a way to smooth out the transition between um, being in in the uh, ground uh, state to the air state we can use these numbers to uh, interpolate between these two values and smooth the movement out. You can play around with these numbers um, to better to better uh, make the system work for you, um, which makes it uh, better for your needs, basically. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The, the, the script is very simple. Uh, I encourage you very much to go through the source code and readjust some things if you want to. Um, it only took a couple of seconds to set up a, a working uh, vertical leg placement system. So don't forget to leave your feedbacks and um, see you in the next one.